Hey guys, Joe from Eastwood. In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Eastwood MiG 250 welder. Now, MiG welds are fantastic. It's the most versatile form of welding. With MiG, you can weld anything from sheet metal to thick structural plate. It's also going to be fast, it's cost effective when compared to TIG, and it's relatively easy to learn when compared to the other welding processes. The MiG-250 is geared for more heavy-duty fabrication as this outputs a very strong 250 amps. This can weld as thin as 20 gauge steel and all the way up to the very beefy half inch thick steel and stainless and up to quarter inch thick aluminum with the optional spool gun. But just because this is powerful doesn't mean this is a bad unit to start off with. This welder can operate at either 240 or 120 volts with the supplied adapter cord. For MIG welding, on a 120 volt outlet, this unit will output up to 140 amps, and on a 240 outlet, this will output the full 250 amps of power. Now, the fact that this can go into either of the common outlets is a great feature for the beginner. If you don't have a 240 in the garage yet, let's just say you're just starting out, you don't exactly need one in order to start MIG welding. This MIG welder measures 20 inches long by 8.6 inches wide by 20 inches tall and only weighs an impressive 46 pounds and it features the latest and greatest MOSFET inverter technology so you can run this on a generator. That all together combined with the power that this welder outputs makes it one of the best welders to move around whether it's on the job site or to the track or even over to a buddy's house. This unit is also very tough really very well built. The duty cycle is going to be an impressive 60% at 250 amps. We have confidence in this unit and it even comes with a full three year warranty through Eastwood. Included with this kit, you get an awesome Tropomite Ergo Plus 24 torch that has a flexible ball and socket with a spring at the end here and that's going to prevent chafing in that area and it's going to add to the durability, which is great. This torch also doesn't require anything special as far as consumables go. You can buy whatever you need at the local welding shop or right here at Eastwood. It also has an 8 foot long cable, so that's plenty of length to get comfortable. Also included with this kit, you get the 120 volt adapter, a grounding clamp with a very generous nine and a half foot long cable, a diaphragm style regulator paired alongside a five foot long shielding gas hose to hook up to your bottle. There's a two pound spool of solid 030 wire and a couple of 030 contact tips as well. So really other than some gas, other consumables and your safety gear, you're pretty much all set with everything you need right out of the gate, which makes this welder a great deal if you ask me. All of the adjustments you need are right here on the front. They're easily accessible. First, you have your power control anywhere from 12 to 34 volts. There's also a control for wire speed that ranges from 80 to 530 inches per minute. There are power and overload LED indicators and a rocker switch to go from your MIG gun for steel or over to your spool gun for aluminum. Below all that, we have all the inputs you need for your MIG or spool gun and the output polarity terminals are down here as well. On the back of this machine, we have a very solid breaker style on off switch, which gives you a very responsive click, lets you know when you're on or off. Of course, the power cable is back there and the inlet for your shielding gas as well. The side of the case flips up, allowing you to easily adjust your wire spool. You get a nice quick feed function to allow you to feed wire without wasting gas, which is a really nice feature if you're trying to save some money. There's also the tension adjustment knob in here, and there's a quick reference guide on the lid for you as well. The drive roll mechanism is really tough, made out of cast aluminum and steel, doesn't slip or skip on the wire. The gears and roller are really nice and heavy duty. This machine is capable of feeding solid and stainless wires in diameters ranging from 023 to 045 and flux core from 030 to 045. There's a spool adapter already installed for the larger 10 pound 8 inch spools of wire. All you have to do is pull that off and you could also have the ability to run a smaller 2 pound 4 inch spool with this machine. Now as far as where this sits in the line of Eastwood MIG welders, this is really the most powerful MIG specific machine. If you're interested in the other welders that we offer, make sure to check them out at eastwood.com. Press the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're giving away a MIG 180 welder at 500,000 subscribers. You want to make sure you check out our channel too. We post a ton of product reviews, buyer's guides, and how-tos over there. If you're new to MIG welding, we have a bunch of videos that tell you exactly how it's done as well. 
As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Joe. Make sure you keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.